It's uh, very nice of you to visit me, Mr. Baldwin. You too, Harry. I'm glad you lived to tell the tale. Thank you. And as you survived, you can tell the tale to me. You were found unconscious in the back stockroom, is that right? Yeah, so they say. What do you mean, so they say? Surely you know whether you went in the back stockroom or not? Well, I did, actually. Now I come to think of it. Harry, uh, just tell me again what you said uh, in the car coming over, will you? I cleaned out the stockroom, then I got called away, and I went back to lock the door. I looked in, but I, I didn't see anybody in there, though. Yeah, but Janice was in there. And you got locked in. So you must have been hiding when Harry looked in. Why were you hiding? Because you had a cigarette in your hand. Yes! Yes, I was smoking. Why do we have to go through all this palaver when it seems like you know anywhere? Nick told you, did he? As a matter of fact, he didn't. I wonder why. Yeah, well, it was his fault that it happened. He tried to put a block on us going outside for a fag break. So I had to smoke inside. <coughs> Well, you were always trouble, but this is the prize winner. So I'm out of a job then, right? Everybody's out of a job, and do you know why? Because my insurance is void if that fire was caused by someone smoking in the building. Underworld's gone forever. I'm finished, you're finished, your friends are finished. All thanks to you. I'm sorry, yeah? I am really, really sorry. Unless... What do you mean, unless? The fire investigators don't find any proof. That's the only chance I got my insurance money back, rebuilding Underworld and giving them all their jobs back. So you better pray that that fire destroyed all your faggins and you never, never smoked in that building if anybody asks. Now, do you understand what I'm telling you? Does that mean that I'll get my job back then as well? If we get away with it, you've got a job for life. You'd be fireproof. Did I just see Nick come in? Eh? Yeah, you did. Oh, good, I've got business with him. What well, can't do? No, he can't. No. Oi, I asked you earlier if you knew how that fire started, and you said no because it happened so quick. Yeah, well, I do have a pretty good idea now. Yeah, so do I. You lied to me. You weren't in that factory when the fire started. You were in charge. You were responsible, but you're off skiving somewhere. Mike, I had to see Maria. Might have known she'd come in. And because you were off skiving somewhere, my factory burnt to a shell, my business is ruined, and there are people staring at no wages this week, and it's all because of you. Well, come off it, Mike. I didn't start the fire. Maybe, but you could have put it out, but no. You were off making eyes at your girlfriend somewhere. Well, I'll tell you this. If my factory ever gets up and running again, and it's a damn big if, there won't be a job in it for you, you sack.